Operation and Testing of Throttle Positioning Sensors The throttle positioning sensor is a variable resistor that moves in relationship to the throttle opening. The voltage on the signal wire changes in relationship to the throttle opening. Connect the scope and the meter to the signal wire and the ground. Then sweep the throttle open and closed. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the contacts for the closed throttle and we're going to be looking at the throttle positioning sensor. So we've got a three wire connector here and a three wire connector here. You typically find the throttle positioning sensor off of the throttle body somewhere in that area. So we find ourselves with two connectors and we can identify each one by looking at the wire colors. So on top it looks like a brown and white, in the middle it looks like a black and pink, and then we have an orange and black, and that's in the gray connector down below. Brown connector, looks like black and white is on the bottom. Looks like a blue and black possibly, or a solid blue is in the middle, and possibly a brown wire up on top. Throttle positioning sensor is a brown wire, a black and white wire and a blue wire. So that brown connector is our throttle positioning sensor and the gray wire is our contact switch. So in order to make this electrical test, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. I'm gonna get myself a back probe pin, looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to come in from the back side Blue wire is the variable sensor wire, so I'm going to try to get in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. Next, I can go ahead and hook up my meter. I'm going to double up so I get a meter and a picoscope at the same time, but I'm just going to come in here and go ahead and grab that pin right there. And the ground lead can go ahead and be put anywhere I can get a ground. So these are my picoscope leads. These are going to be my voltmeter leads. So I can do both at the same time if I want to. And you can go ahead and put your meter in here. And we'll select DC volts. Now in order for this to work, the key has to be on. So let's turn the ignition on. At idle, we're seeing about half a volt, 0.49, and as we accelerate, we're going to see that increase. Up and then down. If we go slowly, we'll see we get all the way up to 3.85 volts. However, if you take a look at the bar graph down at the bottom, that barely moves. So what we would like to do is we're going to come over and choose the range. We're going to take this down to a small range. And now we're going to see that bar graph much more sensitive. And that's a faster capture, that bar graph is. If on the other hand I'm at a higher range, which is where we were at a second ago, the bar graph is not nearly as sensitive. Placing the voltmeter and the picoscope side by side, we can compare the differences when we perform a sweep on the throttle positioning sensor. We were able to watch the voltage rise and drop here, but on the picoscope, we can have much more detail. The picoscope allows us to measure the rise and the fall very rapidly, looking for any glitches in the signal anywhere along the timeline during the rise as well as during the fall. This TPS is good despite the noise that we see here 
that's just normal noise. And these are just because I didn't drop it down on a smooth angle. So there's nothing wrong with this, and this is a good TPS. If the results are incorrect, you need to check the ground and the power supply. I moved the pin to the ground location, and we're just going to go ahead and put our meter on the ground, and we'll check our voltmeter. And we have less than 100 volts. Let's put it, let's change the scale. Something smaller. So there's my millivolts. So we got 9 thousandths of a volt. That's a good ground. Then we would want to check the power supply. So you just simply move the pin into the new location. And there I've got the pin down in the 5 volt reference. And you're seeing here, we've got a little, little over 5 volts. That's 5 volts and 44 thousandths, or 5 volts and 44 millivolts. If I put it on a slightly bigger range, you'll, it would look like that. So that throttle positioning sensor is working as intended.